Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to Dual Expressions. I just want to tell you a little bit about who I am and what I'm going to be doing. Okay, I had a YouTube channel called Dual Expression and I deleted the whole channel and 30 videos due to me not having that that confidence or I was listening to other people. Well, uh, Gosh, I I was really like in the in the mode of like trying to get the word out and of like mental illness and um, drug abuse and things like that and just just trying to trying to be a mentor and you know I got a little convicted. I have not lived my life clean all my life and you know I'm to blame for some of that of course and you know there's other people in my circle or in my life that has caused problems too but I mean I'm still accountable so some of these videos that I, was, that I made you know, on dual expression was simply just about you know healing and you know the things that I have done and the things that I've given God for the things I've done in my past and I felt guilt and shame well I get I don't know if it was the devil coming in but I deleted everything and I thought oh my gosh what did I do well there was some people that told me that th what I was doing it was creating some positivity and it was an informative thing and you know and, and it was a great deal to, to show what I was going through so other people could open up and you know be a blessing as well you know because our testimonies really mean something good bad the ugly right so anyway, I'm going to start over, and I allowed the devil to pry into my life way too long and strong for me to just sit back and say, oh yeah, you can keep doing it, just keep doing it, I'm ready, you know, I'm just going to keep on waiting for you to come back and destroy me every single day. No, I, I got to stop that, and I want you to stop that. You know, there's some people, places, and things that you need to stay away from. And there's also people, places, and things that you probably, you know, need to, to go to. And some of some videos that we watch are good, some are not. And I admit, I was watching some things that I was not supposed to be watching. I was filling my head up with lies, with things that were absolutely negative. So today, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself, because some of those videos, I, I kept saying, yeah, I'm going to get back to my testimony, I'm going to share it. Well, I'm going to share it now, okay? I had a background of, you know, abuse and alcohol, drugs, mental illness prevalent in, the, in my background, big time. And uh, I grew up thinking that was normal, so... No, no, it's not normal now that I think about it. Well, I grew up thinking, okay, I'm going to treat people the way I was treated, right? And I did that. I had children, I did the same thing, so anyway, that's that's past. But I just want to say, what's really important is asking Jesus in your heart to save you and to have that personal relationship with Him so you can heal properly and, and move in your life in a good way. Well, I asked Jesus in my heart, November 6, 2017, after all, after a battle of bad things that I did, and so I had to ask him, hey, I, I need you, God. I was crying out to him, and I was really needing some help. So I was sitting in my living room at the time, I'm sorry, I'm listening to some music, and I was sitting in my living room at the time. And in our recliner, thinking, okay, I need a change. I need some something that's that's going to be beneficial in my life. It's going to be better. I can live right. Well, that day, it was it was sunny outside. I remember looking out the window, and and I thought, okay, something needs to stop. Something needs to change. So I invited him into my heart, which, mind you, I've grown up in a background of, with church and people that you know were. You know, got, went to church every Sunday, every Wednesday, some Saturdays, whenever the doors were open. But that didn't mean that you had a personal relationship with him. It just means you went to the building and 
you just worshipped. Well, I didn't fully understand what worship meant at the, at the young age when I was like, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. So uh, I didn't grow up with people actually telling me, hey, this is how you have a personal relationship with God. This is, this is the route to take. These are the steps to take. Well, I had to learn that on my own pretty much. And through some other counsel, you know, in my life. But um, that day, he came into my life. I was convicted of a lot of things, y'all. And I, I, was, I had a battle with drugs and alcohol. It was terrible. And a lot of trauma in my life. So that I self-medicated a lot. Well, I was clean for almost four years. Well, you know, I took a turn for the worst last year and did it again. And th this last time, it really got me mentally. Like, I was thinking I was going crazy. And the devil really knows how to push your buttons and how to put certain people in your life to where you can slumber and fall. Well, be careful because we can all be sheep's, I mean, yeah, wolf in sheep's clothing. You know, especially whenever we're we're on that that road to to destroy, and I've been on both sides, so I understand it. So I just want to let you know that whatever you're going through mentally, or through like drug abuse, anything drug use, you know, it's never too late to call to to call on Jesus and ask Him to help you. And just keep telling him or asking him, Lord, help me. Jesus, help me. Say it every single day if you have to, all day long. And just read your Bible. And no matter if you mess up, just keep going, keep going. Keep striving and thriving for God. And, and he'll give you the, he will give you the deliverance that you need. So this, time, this go around for me for this channel is going to be, still it's going to be informative. But, you know, it's going to be, you know, some deep subjects and stuff like that. So, just, if you do something wrong to somebody, and even yourself, toward and towards God, tell him about it right away. Ask him to help you. Tell him you're sorry. Repentance is everything in a personal relationship with God. Asking him to come into your heart to save you from all the distraught feelings and the, the sins that you're committing it's important because we want to go to heaven we don't want to go to hell hell is real and sometimes living these sins on this earth it is a pure hell so let's get around the, the right people the right places that want to see you grow want to see you develop into a good Christian person or you know Jesus loving person you know, there's so many people out here that want to destroy you and teach you wrong. I don't want to be one of those. You know, I'm I'm still trying to, to do the right thing and be the better person myself. So, if you've got somebody on your side that's willing to help you see, uh, see better days, that's your person. If you're around people that are cont continuously manipulating and, and making you feel like you're going crazy and... And drawing you into sin and stuff like that, you know, that's not your people. That's not your person. Jesus will give you the right people to to be around. You just feel it, you know. So what if somebody is not living their best life at the time, and they still are, you know, they're trying to come out of that slumber, but you see some fruits, you know, that's okay. I mean, yes, that person, I mean, still has a lot to grow, a lot, to, a lot of work to do. But you may be able to trust that person. But, you know, you don't want to put your complete full trust in man. Put, put all your trust in God. But if you see people out there that are struggling and trying to, to get on the right path, help them, you know, or just pray for them to get better, to be better. Some people don't want it. Some people say they do and they really don't show it. So there's a difference, okay? So I just wanted to let you know about a little bit about myself. And we'll get into more detail later on. But um, I want to start this channel off good. And just to be a blessing. I want to be a blessing with you. And I want you to be a blessing for other people. And it can just be an epidemic of, of goodness. 
all right so let's just stay on the right track with each other and 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 root for each other it's time because the times are near when god's coming okay he's coming so we need to to get on on the the right path like i said and you know we keep messing around with partying and drinking and drugs and cussing and listening to the stuff that we shouldn't be listening to and i i admit you know i'm still trying to get myself totally clean and not listen to certain things and hear certain things that that i know is going to really make my mind feel and go crazy so but you've got to get all that out you know just just ask him to help you with all that stuff you know even if you if you if you're still struggling just keep going come on guys we've got to do it hell is real we we want to to lift people up so they can have a relationship with god and go to heaven okay partying drinking drugs hanging out on the streets hanging out with people that are manipulative listening to things that are dirty and nasty and disgusting it's time it's time to stop it's really time to stop i mean i can't tell you what to do i'm just gonna speak for myself and i believe for myself it's time to stop after all these years at 44 it's time so no matter how old you are if you have it in your gut to say today's the day to change go for it okay so let's just stay prayed up and ask God to to come into our hearts tonight and what is it in your heart that you need to face with God ask yourself that tonight okay and don't be shy he knows everything about you anyway he knows how many hairs are on your head so just go to him for everything and if you say I don't have time I don't have time to pray I don't have time yes you do prayer works and it can change a life so all right i love you guys and i will see you soon bye bye